depending on... My, my words might get cut off there in the VOD. I, I used to have this issue with VODs where I would hit start streaming, the little counter in the corner that says, like, how long I've been streaming would say, like, you know, one, two, it would, like, start counting out the seconds, so I'm like, okay, I'm live now, time to start the intro music, but then it would cut off, like, the first five seconds of the music, right? And then, for a while, that issue, like, went away, and I was like, oh my god, I can actually, like, I noticed, you know, because I started, like, waiting until it said, like, four or five seconds to actually start the music, but then that issue, I think, got fixed, and I, so I would start, you know, I would look at the VODs and there would be like four or five seconds of silence at the beginning. So I was like, okay, well now seems like I don't have to do that shit anymore. But recently, it came back. <laughs> now it happens again. And I don't know what happened. Maybe it's some sort of setting on like OBS or on my computer. It coming back, now that I really think of it, might have synced up with me getting my new computer. So maybe that's, maybe there's something to that. Okay, well, I'm hot off the heels of a Silent Hill 2 stream, the finale. Uh, I'm gonna play some UFO 50. I'm, I've been grinding Magical Garden recently. Uh, and I'm, I, I'm really excited to just... I, I want to play more. You guys want to see my high scores? Look at this. I got a 71,000 earlier today. Ben is at the bottom of the fucking high scores, and God willing, today we'll boot him out completely. Uh... So, I, I've been getting better and better at this game, and I want to toss at least a little bit of time into playing it. Because Bella was posting on the Discord, she was like, Gray has been playing, or Jacob has been playing this game, Magical Garden, for like five hours. Someone please help me. But you know what? Bella can't even talk because she's been playing fucking Metaphor Arrivederci or whatever it's called for like 30 hours in the last three days, so... Uh... Welcome to Magical Garden, to people who didn't join us for the previous UFO 50 stream. Uh, this is like a snake... Pac-Man kind of game? Aw, oh, shit, it dropped the thing right on top of me. Uh, we might as well grab this. I've learned some things about this, uh, this particular game. About how it ticks. Uh, and some people were saying, by the way, that the... Oh god, greed. Okay, good. Some people were saying that those are not bells, they're potions. And they may very well be. For some reason I got it in my head that they were bells. Uh, uh, we're just not gonna drop off there. But when you get the golden power-up, fuck. It adds another little pink blobby respawning into the rotation. So when you start off, there's two pink blobbies, and whenever you collect one, another, it like spawns somewhere else, you know. But when you get the golden power up, specifically the golden top level one, it will add another one into the rotation. So getting those early on is crucial. So I just spawned a red one. But we're gonna just sit here, we're gonna do other stuff, and we're gonna wait for it to turn gold slowly over time. I think it goes red, green, blue, gold. Is that enough? Well, uh... Something I've been sort of improving at is... Not always going for six in a row, like, sometimes you can just drop off, like, two or three, and it kind of works out better, in a way. Uh, fuck! Oh, I... I hit the wrong direction. <laughs> so, yeah, it might be a jarring tone shift, uh, coming off the heels of the Silent Hill 2 stream, but... I don't care! I don't care! Okay, we're gonna drop off five there. I'm just gonna ferry this one down here. And you want to, like, save as few pink blobbies as possible. It sounds cruel, but... It's just because, you know, the when you get 200 of them, this game ends. So... It's, you know, what was first a goal is now kind of a limit. 
that you need to work around. Uh, oh god. Ah, oh, I fucked up big time. Okay, I gotta lock in. That's not to say that what you're seeing right now is not fairly typical of what runs of mine look like, but then sometimes they go places. So the, the, the goal at the very beginning is to get, like, you know, two or three bells sitting around and, and gold. And then, you know, just try to... The, the whole goal here is, yes, you can technically get points by dropping off the little pink blobbies in the star zone, but the, the real money is in destroying the blue enemies. That's, that's where you get the real big points. Fuck. Gonna <laughs> be a little skittish here. Okay, around now is, I think, when you want to start using these. Sadly, the placement of these potions is a little unfortunate. You don't really want them to be close together. Okay. Comboing that together. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna miss that other one. Whatever. Okay, so that was okay. We're at 25 rescued and we got 8,000 points, and now we can start getting the ball rolling a little bit faster. Because I got- I got enough- I got some gold potions and they, uh... Spawned in more blobbies. Uh, these things have a name. They're like oobles or something. They got some goofy-ass name, I don't know. I should probably know, like, if I'm hyper-fixating on this game this much, I should probably know what they're called, but I simply don't. Another part of the reason why I think it's sort of expedient to drop them off in little groups, little chunks, is because... Hold on. Sometimes the positioning just isn't great for... Uh, let's get this mushroom. Okay, nice. Now we can get all these guys. Nice. It's good when you get into the thousands there. Look at this. We've already- we've rescued 48 and we've already beaten Ben's score. It's easier to drop off the, the guys in the star zones in little chunks, especially when there's a lot of enemies on screen. Just by virtue of how, like, chaotic it gets. Okay. But sometimes it's difficult to avoid having a lot of them on your tail. There are times where I think it's, uh... ...wise to avoid the little pink blobbies, as counterintuitive as it may seem. Okay, we're gonna try to cash in a little bit here. There's not really- there's only two of these bells on screen, though. Oh, I touched the wall! Fuck! Okay, well, Ben, get off the list. It's all butt, all the way down. Did he buy the light version of UFO 50 with one game? <laughs> yeah, I got UFO 1. It's, li what, like, roughly 50 cents per game in the collection, uh, if you, you know, break it down... ...monetarily. Mr. Krabs, break it down monetarily for me, would you? So I've not yet had, like, it's like I'm talking about, like, oh, you want to, like, conserve the number of pink blobbies that you're rescuing, but really, it doesn't matter that much when most of my runs end in me dying rather than collecting 200 or saving 200 blobbies. This is very scary. Okay. Uh, fuck. 
Ooh, that was scary. I kind of fucked up there. Panicked, but I... I got through it. Nice, perfect timing on that turning gold. Ooh. Okay. That was alright. I've had some fucking orgasmic combos in this game, though. I'm really hoping we can capture footage of one live on stream on Twitch.tv. Uh, scary. I'm I'm too I'm too focused on collecting a big line of them. I need to stop. Nice, perfect coincidence. The one thing with getting a big line of them is that it instantly generates a gold potion, which you do you do like to see those for sure. Okay. This is going to be kind of pogged out. Okay. It's, it, like, if it doesn't get up to the quadruple digits, I don't think it's, like, a truly poggers combo. By my, like, personal current standards. But that was pretty good. There's this shit you can do that's kind of hard to describe where you can, like, touch... When you're, when you're chomping the enemies, like Pac-Man, you can, like, touch an enemy and then not actually go into the space that it's occupying on, like, the grid. God damn it. Ah. Did you see that the guy was... He was looking to the right, so it looked like he was going to move right, but I collected a pink blobby and it spawned to the right of him. And it made him move upward instead. <laughs> okay. It's fine, it's fine. Oh. And I'm, I'm not gonna play this for, like, the whole UFO 50 stream, but I kinda do. I just like it. I just like it. This whole UFO 50 thing really gives me an excuse to, like, hyperfixate on, like, an arcade-style game. Because there was all those arcade games that I played on stream, but... I think almost all of them, if not 100% of them, I would play and then just ditch, you know, after one... after doing it for one segment on one stream. But here we can get the rare sight of, like, me really digging my teeth into a... or sinking my teeth into an experience like this. Not a big fan. Ow. Yeah, you can touch one and then pivot to the side. And it's useful. It's really useful in those situations where you're chaining together a huge eat combo. Okay, so we only have five here. Which means we're gonna need one more from up here. Oh. That's chill. It just feels more expedient to drop it off. Like, if you're standing on the star zone and you have pink guys, you might as well drop them off. Instead of slowly wandering around and trying to, like, fetch them and bring them back to a star point. But there's also value in getting a big chain of them. Oh, yo! Cock! I got out of a sticky situation and they... They sticked me right back up again. We'll do that, and then depending on where the next one spawns... Okay, that's fine. Eh, technically wasted a blobby there, but it'll get us to a gold potion faster. There's something about, like, the color scheme and the sprites in this game that's very... Speaking of arcade games, it's very Taito, to me at least. 
it reminds me of, like, Bubble Bobble and shit. In a good way. I don't know if that's the intended homage, but it seems like a tight toe jam. Toe jam, oh my god. Tight toe jam and Earl. Okay, we're playing this like super slow, which means if I fuck it up, then I've just been like wasting the shit out of my own time. <laughs> and everyone else's. That's the really neat part. Okay. I think it's time to cash in. Get all these lads. Good. We can full clear all the enemies on the board. That's a great start. Nice, we got to exactly a thousand. That means it is by dictionary definition a poggers combo. I also, like, discovered a weird tech in this game, and it's not terribly useful for getting a high score, but it is kind of funny. Uh, I could try to, like, recreate it here, but it, you could also just go to my Twitter, I posted a video. Basically, on these big, long, like, whenever the star zone is this big, long, straight segment, it, uh, is possible to fold a big line of these pink guys over it twice and like jump over your own trail over and over again in a way that seems seems like you shouldn't be able to do it but the collision on these pink things is just so forgiving that you can just spam jump and get away with it it's kind of hard to describe okay We could even try some crazy shit and try to spawn another bell while this is happening. That was maybe a little greedy. See what I did there? I, I touched it and didn't actually go into the space it was occupying. Alright, that was a good combo. We love that. Did this guy get the fucking UFO 1? What's wrong with this guy? I really want to play the cowboy stealth im sim a little bit today. Oh god. I hate it when it appears right on top of you. I feel like there should be a protection against that, but whatever. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to reach that bell. No, I got it. Okay, this was kind of a lame combo, but whatever. Honestly, again, it doesn't really matter because I'm not at like the skill level where I'm consistently saving 200 of them anyway. But look, we've collected so many gold potions that now it's quite easy to build up six in my entourage! Fuck, man. Okay, another, another 20,000 to butt. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to beat that crazy high score that I got. I did look it up. Uh, part of the reason I, like, the... the the inspiration for why I've, you know, sort of changed my strategy and started just dropping the pink guys into the star zone, like, piecemeal instead of doing it all at once uh, every time was because I watched the, like, I think it might be the current world record. It's just like a, it was like a really high score of like 400,000 or something. So I, I learned from the wisdom of a, a better Magic Garden player than I. And it was nuts, but the thing about it was, I was looking at the video, and maybe this is like the Dunning-Kruger effect in full effect, but, uh... I was like, you know, I bet I could do that. <laughs> For some reason, when the little 
blue blobs. Fuck! Oh, that was such a good, like, setup, and I screwed it up. When the blue blobs look sideways with their little eyebrow, their little DreamWorks eyebrow, it makes me think of the, like, Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem lady. <laughs> with the weird, like, squint and the weird mouth. Do you guys know at all what I'm talking about, or is this, like, some terminally online shit? I mean, th those two things are not mutually exclusive. I'm sure plenty of you guys know my same brain rot. Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem. I just keep thinking about that phrase. I saw an amazing fucking one that was- it was like an edit of that, where it was Mona from WarioWare. <laughs> it said, like, Gen Z is trying to cancel Wario. Oh, fuck. Do, uh, see what those two blue guys just did there, by the way? Sometimes two of them will go onto the same space at the same time, and it just deletes one of them. Which is hilarious. The space ain't big enough for the two of us, I guess. I really would like one more potion on board. There we go. Setup's not exactly, uh, ideal. Regardless. Okay. It was whatever. And that last potion wasn't even gold, but that's fine. All that petals ain't gold. <laughs> uh, hold on. I gotta Q-tip my sweaty ear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There's not really a reason to cancel Eminem because he literally just fell off. That's I think from where the the humor is derived in the Gen, Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem thing. Because I've never heard another human being in my life talk about Eminem. That's not true. But it's, he's so, like, nobody gives a fuck about Eminem. It's just such a, like, lie, that post. It's such, like, you know, manufactured, like, rage bait. Or perhaps the post is even, you know, that lady responding to some rage bait that she saw and believed, naively. Or at least that's, you know, the fake narrative I've built up in my head. Fuck! Okay, oh god, I managed to spawn another one, but it was in kind of a spot that I wasn't expecting it to go to. So I choked. At least we got one more pink blobby spawn in the rotation. See how that just happened to work out? Piecemeal. I'm a new man. I do it piecemeal now. The word piecemeal just makes me think of cornmeal. <laughs> Anyone else? Just me? Oh, that could have been bad. Yeah, guys, I think my copy is, like, glitched out or something. I heard people saying there's all sorts of crazy games on this, but... All I can find is Magic Garden. I don't know how you guys access the other 50 games. The other 49, rather. Fuck. Okay, we're gonna try to stall and wait for that blue potion to turn gold. Perfect. Nice, look at this. That is a very hot combo. That's the kind of shit I love to see. 
That is that shit that I do like. Oh. I thought that gold bell was gonna drop right onto my noggin again. I was gonna be peeved. Oh. oh god, this is scary. Why am I doing it like this? I'm just gonna take the potion and just create another one here. And hope it's in a good enough spot. That is a good enough spot. Okay, well, you know what? We cleared out all the guys. It's nice to start with a fresh, a clean slate. Is this a cool new SNES game? Oh, it's it's an LX game. What was the what is the name of the fictional company? I think it's like when they made Campanella, they like turned into UFO games or something. But before that, they were something different. Oh, scary, scary. I don't know why I did that. It's fine. These bell placements are bad. I'm gonna try to just sneak in a couple more of those. Okay. Ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. The money. Tommy wants money. Oh. Oh! That scared the shit out of me. Uh, so, I, what just happened? Why did a purple one... So, when you... When you'd spin... All the guys behind you turn purple briefly, and then one at a time turn into blue guys. Why did a purple one spawn in front of me there? What, what are you- I, I genuinely don't even know what happened. That was a good- oh man, that was a good score! That was pretty nice! Genuinely, I- I don't want to, like, cope too much, but, uh... That felt like a bug. Why did a purple one? It, like, it, you know, it was escapable, but, uh, it freaked me out. I walked into a pink one mid-spin. Oh, That would explain it. Okay, checks out. Shit happens. Gonna avoid that for now. We want to save it. The first combo is usually gonna be a little underwhelming, just due to how few golden potions you've gotten so far in a typical run like this. But I had I had one where I got to like twenty thousand with like twenty saved, which was crazy. That was pretty good for the first combo. Now we've got a little bit of juice going. We've unlocked the sauce. By the way, did I mention to you guys that a friend of mine got me the Vine Sauce Hot Sauce? And, uh... I genuinely really like it. <laughs> I'm not, like, a huge hot sauce guy. And I'm sure, like... The flavor of this Vine Sauce Hot Sauce is probably not exclusive to the expensive, uh, special bottle vine sauce version. It was just like a, a limey, sort of Caribbean spicy flavor. But every once in a while we get wing stop, and I have the vine sauce hot sauce on the wings. 
so I have drinketh the sauce. The titular sauce. Uh, and I found it sweet. Spicy, but you know what I mean. Look at how that one spawned in. On my tail, that was so odd. Why'd I do it like that? I'm a fool. <laughs> I am in, like, a, a bit of a melancholy mood right now. Just because we, uh, we just watched all the endings to Silent Hill 2. The ending of that game got so, like, heavy. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Let's just take the L. Again, that was really only an L if I was, like, better at the game. And consistently, or even semi-consistently, getting to 200, which is not the case. I haven't reached 200 a single time since I did it on stream, but I have obliterated the score that I got on that stream. kind of crazy, both of the Silent Hill games that I've played have had this kind of syndrome of, like, they feel like they're gonna go on for fucking ever, and then they just kind of end, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, it's over. And it's usually quite a, like, satisfying conclusion, too, which is, of course, the desired effect. Shit, I accidentally saved some of them. Gen Z is trying to save blobbies. Bad. I, I'll work on that one. I'll put that one in the workshop. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. Risky jump. Paid off. At least in the short term. I was also thinking, like, you could make a wicked funny fighting game community meme with, like, Gen Z is trying to cancel Crouch Medium Kick into, you know, Super 2 or whatever. I don't know. If I, if I knew fighting games more intimately, this would be much more hilarious. Fuck! Oh, I panicked because I really wanted that gold one. Shit! Oppies. They're called Oppies. Okay, grab this one, that's six. I should stop soon. I got it, that 40,000 was a pretty decent score. It's like, yeah, let me put it this way, that fighting game community joke. I think if I, like, research it just a tiny little bit, then you could, you could edit it so that it's like Akuma or something, you know? Or like, maybe like, I feel like it has like an M. Bison energy to it, actually. And we weren't in time for that. Oh. Game forced my hand here. Gonna be close. Okay. Oh, there were two of them in the same space there. I feel like I've never seen that. It's also like you reach a certain zen about like oh like I I I, I accidentally spawned a blue guy trying to, like, drop them into the star zone. But, like, blue guy equals more points. So, who care? Oi! Oi! Ya! Yahoo! Yeah. 
yeah, it really is unfortunate that jokes about cancel culture and like the wokes and stuff are like so funny because I feel like it, clearly many people make jokes about that sort of stuff sort of sarcastically like you know, cancel culture and wokeism are like not actual problems, basically. Uh, and you know, I'm not saying there's no nuance to that whatsoever, but the way people portray those quote unquote issues is very humorous. But then it's like you make the memes and it's like, ah oh, man, like this is just like South Park where there's totally a huge group of people out there who are looking at this stuff and being like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, just like unironic approval. They don't detect the sarcasm. Okay. Pretty good. And we cleared the board, we liked that. Oh fuck, it, I looked at chat, it dropped the fucking thing on my head again. That's something that's like, kind of fun if you're playing this, you know a little more casually, but once you're becoming a score fiend like me, it becomes quite annoying when it does that, because it basically forces you to start doing a combo even if you're not fully, like, set up to do it. Oh! It's quite tricky to... jump over the power-ups. I think the enemies and the power-ups both have the less lenient collision. Okay, I did mean to collect that. Believe it or not. Oh, fuck. Ooh, did I barely save it? Okay. <laughs> there was a mushroom and a little blue blobby on there. Okay, that was fun. By the way, after the recent uh, TF2 Bonanza, uh, the little pre-recorded thing that we did with Bobby Joe. Oh! I, when I was looking at my inventory, I was like, oh my god, my inventory in TF2 is so fucking whacked out. Uh, I had, like, a million, you know, like, seasonal crates and shit from years of playing that game ages ago, and, uh... So I finally, I went through, and I smelted down, it took so long, but I smelted down, like, all my spare weapons, and, you know, smelted all the... I made, like, a bunch of refined metals and shit. I didn't really know, it didn't seem like there were any items that I really wanted to craft, but I just consolidated my inventory a lot, and it was very satisfying. Okay... Take this big chain... That was pretty good! And I also, I went onto a trading server and I had literally, like, probably 50 or so just random crates. And I know crates don't really have a lot of value, but... I just went onto a trade server and I was like, Hey, does anybody want to, like, just take these off my hands, basically? And there were a few people who were like, Oh yeah, I'll fucking take them, dude. So... I now have somebody on my... I had to add them as a friend, and apparently there's some kind of, like... It's like a Steam, like, trading protection thing, where the trade won't actually go through until, like, October 31st. Uh, so I have to stay friends with this, like, rando from TF2 on Steam for a month for this trade to go through, so I keep seeing them, like, boot up Left for Dead and shit. It's kind of funny. It's just 
just some like rando with the like medic as his profile picture. <laughs> Didn't really want to collect that. <sighs> Is it even worth doing this? I was hoping that would spawn a bell, but instead it got me up to 150. A little memento mori that this game eventually ends. Uh, we'll see. I mean, if I can reach the end and be, like, score fiending the whole time, I'll be pretty happy. Because I haven't done that yet. Even if it's not actually a new high score. There's so fucking many spawns now. Okay. Maybe it's time. Gen Z is trying to cancel Eminem. Okay, let's just make a big block. Just get them all. And then try to do it again. Accidentally saved a bunch of them, but that's fine. Look at the score. Kind of cracked with it at this point. I think I'm about to win. Yep. Okay, I wonder if that was a high score or not. I think if it was, it was by, like, a pittance. <laughs> you can use custom blueprints to smelt things faster. Well, that's a shame because I sat there. I got so efficient though, because those TF2 menus, they're responsive. It's like you click and like the next frame you're in the next menu. So I like muscle memory didn't just like robotic. You can't skip this. How much clout did you gain from the Vinny raid the other night when I raided Vinny? Like, none? What do you mean, clout? <laughs> he said thank you, he was very kind. And that was it. <laughs> there was no clouting. Alright, let's see... If nothing else, of course, I got a, a, a second highest score. That is the first time I've ever... Uh... Or I guess, you know, it's the second actual game clear I've gotten. I feel there were many times where I could have scored better, though. But there were some really good combos in there. Oh my god! By like 200 points it was a high score. Holy fuck, that's satisfying. Oh my god! Alright, that's enough go magic garden for today. <laughs> uh, let's play Rail Heist. So this is... It's really cool, I really really like this one. I'm kind of tempted to just start it over. Uh, because the level that we were on seemed hard. Let me just, like, let me just look here. We know there's money smuggled in this root beer shipment, but we don't know which two barrels it's hidden in. Grab a barrel and hold down to hide in it. Wait, no shit. This one, the two-person job. Is this one a two-person job? Because Bella did the two-person job. I did a lot of these. Here's all the missions. Here's all the... I didn't get very many of the, uh, the badges. Let me just, like, check this one and just see what it's like. Somebody said I literally snapped out of a daze when he said, That's enough magic garden. <laughs> okay, so it is... It's just one person. Okay, so these guys are gonna get a turn when this timer goes down. So basically... Oh fuck, I'm gonna get shot. I didn't realize he was gonna come down the ladder. They're gonna combo the shit out of me. Oh my fucking god, and then I got crushed under the wheels. Basically, this is like an im-sim where you're trying to... loot a train. I'm sorry? I must be stupid. How did- how do you go in the barrel? 
I tried down and both of the buttons that exist. What is... How do you do it, huh? <laughs> I thought it said, like, hold down and some button. Pick it up, then hold down. Oh. Fuck. So, pick it up, hold down. Oh my god. That's so funny. Crouching is also really effective. So, it's- there's kind of a turn-based element to this. Shit. Now the timer has started on this guy. Oh, I'm so cooked. I should have crouched. God damn it, that guy's gonna turn around and shoot me, yeah. Oh, I'm really tempted to just start over. I'm gonna start over. I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Maybe get some new medals. I don't want to start at this, like, harder level. Oh, fuck. No, damn it. <clears throat> it's a good thing all the menuing and shit is so fast in this game. <clears throat> this will overwrite your current game, sure. Oh, and I like the little story cutscene, too. We are a strange family. An abandoned mine is our home. Dodger was orphaned at the age of eight. The sole survivor of the great disaster at Armadillo's End. Brand always hides his face and babbles in his sleep about angels and demons. That's me on guard duty next to Mr. Blue, our horse. My name's Maria, and that's all you need to know. Gran is our leader. She has a different color palette, so there has to be an indigo square around her. She took us in when we had nowhere else to go. She doesn't get around much these days, but she's the one who taught us our trade. Train robbery! Okay. This will be your first solo heist, so I have played through these, in case somehow somebody didn't pick up on that yet. Uh... A simple heist. Okay. So I'm trying to get that green flashing box. And, uh, I'm basically stealthing around, I have a gun, I can sort of, like, punch the ground, like Minecraft, and destroy tiles. Uh, oh shit, is he gonna come up the stairs? I think he's gonna go to where he heard the gunshot, yeah. Okay, I think we can jump across here and just... Uh. This is fine. Okay, and then the horse shows up. I love the little music cue when the horse shows up. And now we gotta yeehaw! We gotta ride him off to the sunset. Oh god, stop loading your gun. The one thing, this game gets a little annoying sometimes with the, like, turn-based thing, but I, I kind of like it in a way. Yeehaw! Oh my god! <laughs> it's good to know that there's a little margin for error there. I got zooped onto the horse so hard. Okay. Roof Assault. The music's good, the presentation's just great on this one. I mean, as fucking usual. So, hold on. I think I can... Punch a hole in the ground here. M my biggest move in this game, the thing that I always do, is I'm like the safe psycho. I always pick up the safe and just, like, use it to bash people's brains out. <laughs> Alright, we got the coins. Okay, I don't want to go that way. But maybe I have to. Uh... Now let's go up here. So I'm not gonna be able to jump out of this hole, but I'll be able to go through this wall. We are a fucking strong cowboy, by the way that we can punch through solid iron. Presumably. Oh yeah, and there's chickens. <laughs> Shit, uh... Okay, that's good. And you get little bonuses for, uh... No kills, for instance. Like, no kill runs and speed runs and shit. Okay. And it gives you a little overview of, like, what's gonna happen. But you can skip it at the beginning of the level. So 
I think I'm gonna put this here. I'm just gonna bash this. Is this, uh, all the money? No, there's a second stash. We... Okay, there's dynamite. We like that. Oh, man, and doing doing no kills, by the way, must be fucking nuts. Like, some of these levels, I just don't know how you do that. <laughs> It's such a cute little music cue, and such a cute idea. I love that it's got that look, it's sort of galloping cadence to it. Whee! <laughs> Jump out of the horse! Yeah! Nice. No casualties, new speed record, we love that. Bling! Okay. Well, we're blasting through these because I've already played them. Okay, so here's the lay of the land. All right. Oh, we can just... Fuck you! Oh, fuck. No, he's gonna shoot me now. Okay. This is fun. What if we try no casualties? I'm, I kind of just want to see if I can do it. Okay, uh, fuck you, buddy. Now I don't think he can come up the stairs. Okay, that guy is- so some of them patrol and some of them don't. Okay, check this out. I think this'll work. Oh fuck no, he's gonna kill me. I should've crouched. Oh no, he just punches me. Nice. Holy fucking, now I move and now that guy shoots. Yes. Oh, don't punch me again. Oh, I'm so screwed. Crouch, just crouch. I don't think you can kill me by, by punching. Good. Now I sit here, and I load my gun. And I shoot! Okay, there were some casualties. Yeah, so there's this whole system where... When the, when the lawmen are moving around like that... They, uh... There's this whole, like, system where if you have your gun out, you'll automatically shoot them, and if you get- if they get within punching range of you, you'll automatically punch them. And they'll do that shit to you, too. We Don't even care about the power-up. Get me out of here. Okay, oh, this is the chicken one. This one was, like, the first kind of difficult one. Whenever a, a lawman sees a chicken, they'll shoot at it. And they'll, that even means they'll, like, shoot at each other like dumbasses. Oh, fuck, he auto-punched me. No, I'm cooked. No, I think, actually, he can't shoot. If they don't have a gun in their hand, then it means they can't shoot. But then I get stunned for a little bit off the punch. Which makes sense, yeah, I'm a dumbass. Oh. Would this game be accessible to people who don't play video games? I guess I don't really know, uh... What one might mean by that. Uh... Hold on. I want to be the safe psycho again. No, you're not gonna punch me. You don't have enough time, fuck you! <laughs> uh... Like, don't play video games, like, at all? Or what? I guess I'm wondering, like... What level we're talking here. Some... some knowledge of video games is, you know, good. But... oh fuck, I'm stupid. It'll definitely help you appreciate this, but it's... It is just fun on its own merits, but I, I'm just thinking, like, if you already don't play video games, I don't think necessarily this will be the game to convince you to play video games, I guess. Okay, so now I think he's got the bell, not the eye. So I think he is just going to try to come towards the noise, no? Oh, God. But now he sees me. Fuck me, I'm stupid. I'm stupid! Yes. Okay, whatever. It doesn't- this is so dumb. 
It's like, if I'm already killing folks, I might as well just blast him. Sorry, partner. So... I remember this- this little arrangement with these two guys here. There was like a specific thing that I was able to do that made it a lot easier. I think it maybe was shooting a chicken. Like throwing a chicken at one so the other- the guy behind him would, uh, would blast him in the head. This is embarrassing. There we go. Safe Psycho strikes again. Okay, now that guy can't see me. I think if I climb up that ladder, the dude will auto-shoot me. Uh, so... We're just gonna wait for this guy to turn around, bash his brains in with a safe. <laughs> okay. Timer stopped. Right, because I, I killed all the patrolling ones. Now this one, I can just very easily... We got extra bullets as a power-up. And now I think I want to go up here and you have to, like, punch through this to get a chicken. Pick it up and then it's like, uh, oh, I have seven seconds. I'm cooked. <laughs> I forgot there's a hard time limit. Yeah, chat, we're cooked. We, we pulled up into the station. Okay. Get that guy down there. Chicken. Fuck you. Now he won't be able to come up the ladder. Now I can bash his brains in. <laughs> it, I really wonder if there's a way to, like, cheese this one. Oh, God. Uh. uh wah! They can shoot down at an angle like that? Holy fuck. Okay. Nobody here but us chickens. Yeah, okay, he's going towards the sound. Now... That didn't really work out. Nope, I'm a safe. You can't shoot me, because I'm a safe. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that item play. Yeah, stacking chickens. I, I suppose you probably could. Let's try it. I mean, I'm kind of curious. Put a chicken here. Oh god. Scary. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I bet you could do that here. Uh... Hmm... Oh fuck, I didn't realize he was facing this way. I don't know though, because how do you bring the chicken through that little hole there? It's like any way you stack it, I think there's just barely not enough space to do this in. Like, maybe like a perfect throw? No, I don't... I don't know if that's possible. Because anyway, I, I thought about breaking all the blocks, but that's why I say any way you stack it, I don't think it works. So you break all the blocks and then it's like, okay, well now I just have chickens in place of blocks that are like functionally identical, basically. Oh, what? Um, I, I hit right and the guy went left. Sh hold on. Tears off the mask. Shadow of the Colossus! Unironically, I very distinctly hit right on the controller. I don't know what the fuck happened there. I thought about building outward like Echoes of Wisdom, but I don't think that works. Because at a certain point, I will need to fit myself through a gap. I mean, one of the chickens got destroyed. No, I guess if you- if- if you do it- Oh god. If you do it, like, well enough. If you do it, like, perfect, maybe it'll give enough room. 
I did, like, I considered all of these things. And then deemed it impossible. Let's crouch. Uh, this is fun. Oh my god, no, this is not fun. Maybe I should really just, like, fucking kill those guys, but we need all the chickens, right? In fact, like, we're gonna need to bring a chicken from over there. Like, in the end... Hold on. Put the safe here. That's the key to all of this. Because now those guys can't bug me at all. They have no idea I'm here. And I have an extra chicken. What more could a man possibly want from the world? It's gonna be just kind of annoying having to wait for them every time, but at least we're safe. Okay, punch. Uh, there's like a glitch or something. What is that? Again, I was holding very distinctly and normally. I wasn't like Germa Gorilla gripping the controller or anything. I was just holding right and my character went left. <laughs> Actual Shadow of the Colossus moment. <laughs> and I forgot to block off the thing. Yeah, just kill me. Bop. I love that they combo the shit out of your body when you die. I've had some brutal fucking deaths in this game where you just get tossed around by them. I- I really don't know... Like, I don't think this game has any kind of, like, wind mechanic or anything. I don't know why. When stand- I, and I did not have that issue the entire time I was playing this game with Bella off stream. For whatever reason, uh, the, the character go left when I tell it to go right? I'm, like, very scared to do anything there now. Yeah, I was holding the controller inside out and upside down and left to right and my shoes were on my hands. Okay, let's see. No, I don't think... I don't think you can squeeze through that gap. Let me, uh, see... No. I think I do stand by my original assessment. That's like as Echoes of Wisdom as I can possibly stack them. And you can't fit through it. Can you jump while crouching? That's a good question. No. It's the roll. <sighs> Maybe, uh, like, just a really precise toss. You know? Or maybe, like, oh, maybe if I... Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hear me out. Roll. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah! We janked it. We janked it out. It was. It can be done. It can be done. I'm a fool. Yoo-hoo! Yeehaw. Still took a long-ass time. <laughs> no casualties. Yippee! All right, Gatling guns. These are fun. That blocks it off. When they're green, they'll automatically shoot you. And when they're red, they'll automatically shoot the lawmen. So this guy's gonna stand there like a dumbass and let me punch him off the side. Uh, I don't know where they are, so I'm gonna play it safe. Okay. Fuck it. Grab the chicken. Live a little. Oh, fuck. Ow. They killed the chicken. Fuck. Punch it, please. Damn it. I don't think he'll shoot me. 
Could be wrong. Okay. Stack boxes. <laughs> right, the, the Gatling guns can break otherwise invincible blocks, too. What if you missed landing on the horse? Thankfully, as we saw earlier, the horse, there's some very lenient uh, horse AI. Where if you miss, I missed the horse just completely earlier, and it like vacuum sucked me onto the horse. Okay, I'm just gonna chicken jump over this. We're gonna punch that. Lawman's gonna get a uh, shot when he comes up the stairs. Up the ladder. <laughs> By the way, uh, did I mention Bella and I finished Edgeworth Investigations 2. We're now done. Every non-spin-off Ace Attorney game is done now. And even some of the spin-offs, I mean, do we consider, like, Great Ace Attorney a spin-off? Oh, fuck. Wait. Uh, but it was amazing. Edgeworth Investigations 2 was, like, so fucking peak. Yes. <laughs> uh, Edgeworth Investigations 1 was honestly kind of rough. There was a lot about it that I was just kind of like... Why is it like this? It's like... It's fine, but it's not, like, incredible. But then Investigations 2 was just... Peak! I'll, I'll say it. I'll say it. It was peak. Goodbye. <laughs> it was so fucking peak. I, I and, and the last case was so insane. Like, it, oh, now this switches. Uh, it was such a mind fuck. There was just, there was so much to it. Hold on, how do you... I think I need to bash a hole in this and then, like, push it in. Oh, and it turns around. This is fine, though. Yeah, and it crushes the other guy. <laughs> and it hits the switch. Oh! You press the buttons with the gunfire. Fuck you. <laughs> it was unnecessary, perhaps. But then at the end of the stage, you have to hit the switch again. Oh, he punched me. Fuck. Punch you. I'm cooked. He's gonna turn around. No? Wow. Okay, I do need these coins, though. Damn it. I want to punch you. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Investigations 2 was just incredible, and it was such a... The amount of, like, characters and relationships and, you know, schemes and double crossings and all... There's so much just crazy shit in that game, plot-wise. I was... While I was playing it, I was kind of like, imagine fucking writing this. Like, I would pop off so hard. If I had written a game like that, it's it's very it's very tight. And it had lots of cool twists and turns, and it was very it didn't there were some crazy plot twists and previously in the series there have been times where there's plot twists uh and they kind of just feel bad or like poorly executed and uh stupid <laughs> to put a word to it. But the big plot twist in Investigations 2 was kind of peak. I'm gonna get shot. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the whole game is basically a single case. That's so true. Okay, so now I know I can hide in a barrel. I did not realize that was a mechanic. Well, <laughs> I'm trapped. This is just... okay. What happens if I roll? Oh, okay. <laughs> when it looked like the timer just wasn't gonna go, multiple people said roll. Roll, roll! You can roll in them too, you can roll. Hi guys, 
Greetings from the Future where I decided of my own volition to roll and it didn't fucking work. What's it like in the past? Barrel roll, oh my god. Epic. Simply epic. Uh. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, just chicken across to this. I wonder, if you're in midair when the time runs out, surely you fall down to the ground, right? Surely you don't, like, freeze midair. That would be stupid. Oh, and I think I can pick up the switch, too, yeah. Wonder what happens if you just toss the switch off the side of the train. Hey man, I'm from the future. Good heavens, don't roll! All right, I gotta do what I gotta do. Oh, that guy actually came all the way over here? I guess they heard my gunfire. Um... Fuck. I'm racked with indecision. What the fuck? Maybe there's some fucked up with my controller because my guy just moved to the right like a lot when I did not tell him to. Oh fuck, I'm so cooked. <laughs> no, please, please don't turn around. No. Oh my god. So why did this not work earlier? That really doesn't block him. Okay. Whatever. Let's just move on. There's two different... Oh, he's shooting the chicken. He's choking the chicken. Shit, I tried to put it underneath me. At least I'm crouching. They can crouch. Uh, hold on. Shoot me. I just want to see the level. I, I think the only money is the stuff at the beginning here. Oh, but I think if I remember correctly, the horse spawns on the other side. So I'll need to get all the way over to the right eventually. Oh my god, my fucking chicken. I hate you. Uh, that's got a couple of power-ups in it, too. That little jingle does get, like, pretty annoying, honestly, over the course of the game, but... It's not, like, unforgivable. Yeah, the, so far in as in insofar as I have played this game, inshallah as I have played this game, I have not seen the horse spawn on that side in any other level but this one. Oh fuck, am I gonna get shot? No. There have been a couple times where I've gotten shot from like way off screen. Just kind of out of the blue. Yeah, it looks like if you're in the air, the timer just takes a little longer to go out. Oh my god, that guy's- he's coming to bash my brains in. Shit, I actually fucked up big time. I'm gonna sit here on the ladder. And we're gonna see what this guy does. I don't think they can kill me while they're on the ladder. We got the fast load and the cool bullets. Oh fuck. I'm probably gonna die. Uh... Ooh, there's a guy. Hold on. Just blast the fucking hole open in the wall. Please load the gun. Hmm. <laughs> Thing is. Oh god. 
can I can I please punch that? Damn it. <laughs> this sucks. I you can't I can't crouch and shoot the way that the enemies do, I don't think. Maybe I can. Oh, you know, I think I only aimed down there because I was near a ledge. It's like a contextual thing. Okay, well that was jank and I panicked hardcore, but I eventually got through. I'll have to improvise. Winging it! Damn it! <laughs> right in the bonts. They're so happy when they get shot. Load the gun. Oh, fuck. Ah! <laughs> Wait, not the barrel! Lawman turn, he sure does. Oh, he didn't turn. That will be his undoing. Okay, so... I think... I can just stack shit. Maybe the box that I broke, actually, is probably gonna be... It's probably gonna seal my fate in not being able to do this, but I remember the first time I did this level, I just stacked shit and got the money really easily. But I think, aren't there two caches? Here, maybe I'm crazy. <clears throat> yeah, the wheels, there are little platforms by the wheels that you can hide by. Okay, we can go get the money. I haven't found the wheel platform to be terribly useful. Oh my god, is that really it? Wow. Yeah, cheese the shit out of that one. Bum bum, ba -da -bum, -bum. No, honestly, you not you don't need to worry too much about backseating, I mean. Give me some, you know, time to, like, try stuff out, but especially, like... Wow, this guy's locked in the safe. How do you think he feels about that position? Oh, it's the- this is the two-person one. I actually haven't done this one. Uh... Particularly because I've already played this game, and... Uh... But also just, like, UFO 50 in general, I feel like is... A lot less. There are some games where it's really irritating to get, like, you know, constant, like, advice or whatever. But... This one, it's really not so bad. Okay, let's... I didn't really, like, understand. I didn't really look at what we had to do. Uh... Can you just, like, hide in a barrel right in front of these guys? <laughs> While I go hit the switch. When we were playing this game, though, I was kind of like, oh, so it's like kind of like a stealth thing? Okay. I guess I get it. And then when I saw that you could punch through the walls, I was like, oh, it's an Imsim. It's a fucking Imsim. Oh, fuck. I think, I guess if either of us die, we probably both lose. Yeah. I forgot. Okay. I should- hold on, can I just like, just kill me? I, I want to reset. It's actually hard to die on this stage. Come on! Yes! I died. He shot me in the feet and I died instantly. There's an entire layer to this game you have to deliberately go looking for. I, I assume... It's something to do with the, like, uh... The console. There's, like, a- there's a place where you can, like, enter in codes. And I'm assuming there's codes, like, hidden in the minigames, right? Or at least that's what I would assume. I'm gonna open this up, because I got nothing else better to do as this guy, and maybe the horse will spawn over there. Uh, let's just wait. Oh, but those guys heard me. Oh, mamma mia. Go.
Ladder is a safe zone. Okay, they would never shoot me. Oh! Uh. What? <laughs> it really prioritized my friend getting punched over the guy that was closer to me. Fuck you. <laughs> like, he was straight up closer. He was closer. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> if you hit the switch quick enough, they just hit him before you can even play as him. Uh. God. Okay, safe psycho time. I'm not gonna hit the switch yet. Let's just like make a wall so they can't escape. <laughs> hit the switch. That guy's gonna get alerta. But it's fine. If I sit right here, I will be safe. I think. The, the most he can do is punch me. Okay. Uh, oh, but now I have to play as this guy. I think we're just gonna hide in a barrel. No! Oh, really? He saw... I thought the guy that he saw was the, the other dude. Okay. So, we need to think about what we're going to do with that guy. Fuck. I got a dumb idea that's going to, you know, require a lot of just, like, sitting around by the switch, basically. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I bungled it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna hit the switch. I'm not gonna do it. I don't even- I assume this is a safe? I actually have no idea what that is. It looks like an- it looks like a sprite in Undertale. Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, buddy? Shoot me? Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. That's what I thought. Now the safe psycho is gonna come over there and bash some brains in. If you stand still, you can pass your turn, really. Oh, they fucking shot down through the safe. Okay. Like an oven, maybe. Okay. Well, passing turn, that seems useful. Maybe do the same strat that I did that time, but just... take the money. Like, don't even care about the guy, right? Okay, so if I stand still... Maybe activate and then stand still? Okay, cool. A little bit of a weird way of doing things, but sure. But how am I gonna get these coins without letting them out of the house? I think we got it. I'm just gonna get killed again. I'm so stupid. I'm passing. No. I'm not passing. Okay, there's blue. It rode backwards. Uh. Oh, but then they're gonna move around. Okay. Well, you know... I'm gonna hit the roll button. <laughs> we 
<laughs> okay, okay. Here's how we can still win. Fuck me. <gasps> oh my god! No! The switch! Okay, get out! Get out! Time is running out! Mm. No, we're out of time. I gotta get both of them there, too. That's so fucked up. <laughs> the horse just freezes. Hey, vey. Yeah, I suppose bringing the switch with me could actually be useful here. I can use it instead of the safe, right? No, it only stuns them. Okay, well, that's a throw. Because I, it, it makes sense because it stunned me when I got hit by it. Okay. Bonk. Bonk it up. Shit. Uh, I'm just gonna stand still. Fuck you. Sorry if this is hard to watch. I'm probably doing this horribly wrong. Sure. And now you get up here. That guy's gonna come out and go down the ladder. I can get the money. Such a nice little, like, jaunty cowboy melody. Oh. Okay, we should be good. Look at how I can now just go through here and drop down. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, all time is running out. Oh, I'm stunned. Yeehaw. Oh, yeehaw. Oh my god. That one was tricky. Okay, now we're up to the part where I was at when I started here. We don't know which two barrels it's hidden in. Sarsaparilla, huh? All right. <laughs> what could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? I, what was my thought process there? <laughs> What happens now? Are they gonna move? Uh, okay. Yep. Juggle me one more time. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. So does this? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Punch. You wouldn't hit a lady, would you? Okay, well, this is fine. I got two bullets and one of them's for you, buddy. I love the way the bodies, like, fall onto the train tracks, too. It's a great... There's so many great details in UFO 50, just in general. Okay. Uh. Hmm. The explosive thing gives me pause for thought. Okay. Just searching. Oh, they're probably in here. I should have crouched. I think that guy might come up the ladder and shoot me. Nope. The guy, like, way over there, by the way, is who I meant. Okay, there's one. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, okay. So we know where one of them is. I assume the other one's probably near that zone as well. Okay. Oh my fucking god. You're kidding me. Okay, we're. D I'm brute forcing checking these barrels. Not gonna lie. Fam. 
Nobody here but us barrels. <laughs> okay. Is he stupid? Am I stupid? I can't jump off the ladder. I'm just gonna get shot, aren't I? <gasps> That's coins. I'm definitely gonna get shot, though. Hey, at least I got that guy to shoot his buddy. Uh, okay, okay. Hmm. Is there even a point in, like, engaging with that guy? I guess just... We just established there's money behind him. And I, it, it's annoying to me that they're able to just phase right through the barrel when they're going down the ladder. But not when they're going up it. I, there, I did something here earlier that worked, and now I don't really remember what that was. Shoot! What the fuck? I, I guess I didn't charge the gun all the way? Did I do it again? Did I still? Jesus fucking Christ, I suck balls. That just, like, canceled the animation like a frame before the bullet actually goes into your gun. Twice. Okay. Hold on. Nose calmed down, by the way. After the, you know, deeply emotional video game Silent Hill 2. Oh. <laughs> Nobody here but a sarsaparilla! Okay. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Not really much you can do there. Hold on. No, you totally can roll- What the fuck?! No, I hit the wrong button before. I'm a jackass. Look at this shit. Wait, holding down roll just makes you sonic spin dash? I thought you had to, like, mash it. <laughs> Sorry, it's- there's two buttons in every game, and instead of being A and B, they're A and X. So sometimes I will try- no, it's actually- maybe I'm thinking of a different minigame. It feels wrong calling these minigames, because they're just games. No, I'm an asshole. I know, I know when I'm... I know when I've made a, a, an ass of myself, and, uh... This is one of those times. It's just, you know, I was pissed off because I thought to roll, and then I thought I tried rolling, and then, like, five people backseated that I should roll in the, you know, no man's land, uh, twitch delay gap, right? Just explaining my emotions there slightly. Okay, look what we're cooking here. Law man. Uh... Help. We still love you, thank God. <laughs> oh God, oh, I'm so stupid. What am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm fucking doing. It somehow worked. It somehow fucking worked. I don't believe it. I'm gonna run out of time, man. Ah! <laughs> Hold on, take out the gun. Bitch, no, I'm gonna get shot. Yeah. I wanted to get back into that barrel. Oh my god, the combo. Oh, this one's hard. But the the barrel roll is nice. Oh, you know, I should be using that fucking explosive to get to the barrel on the top right. That's just objectively correct. Oh, the perfect toss. Now maybe I'll toss you around a little bit, Lawman. Fuck. Punch up. <laughs> Ugh. 
I'm sorry? I Why didn't he shoot me? That was weird. He was within perfect line of sight, right? But he only got alerted? Was it like in the very last frame of the their turn happening? Oh god. Ah, the, the music's starting to drive me insane <laughs> on this level too. Just a little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Grapefruit Sama is starting to go a little bit cuckoo bananas. Not a problem. Okay. I'm killing. I've decided to kill. Oh, but you dropped the barrel! Cocksucker! <laughs> I was holding down and hitting the punch button. Is that not how you pick up a barrel? It is. It just prioritized the wall there. The fact that they're all patrolling is so bonkers. I'm just gonna break all of these because I'm a, at a bit of a loss for what to do. Damn it, the fact that he turns around there is ass. Okay. Now those guys heard the gunshot. Oh, no. Sometimes it really astounds me how much they're able to move. <clears throat> hmm. <sighs> so, like, what the fuck do I do, man? It's, it, it's the fact that the puzzle changes every turn that's really getting my goat here. Uh, how about we, like, punch a hole... Punch two barrels, pick up the other one. Fucking die, because you suck at the game and you're stupid. <clears throat> Can't bring it through there. I don't know. I need to, like, sit there and actually formulate a fucking plan. Instead of whatever I'm currently attempting. Blam. Okay. It's like, I feel like it should be possible for me to fucking get, like, three feet above me here. But, like, this ladder is just simply not an option. Climbing up the ladder is not an option whatsoever. It's very difficult to... Because now this guy's going to move. Thankfully, he's not facing me. Well, didn't mean to do that. But I guess we're living with it. Do that. Get in the barrel. Oh, fuck. I, uh, I tried to roll. Uh, I'm going to get shot. Okay, I think we're on to something here, though. Just, like, do that, but don't be a fucking moron. Uh. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna throw this this way. Not that it matters much. Okay. Oh, kill him. Thank you very much. And now... I kill you. Fuck you. Okay, there's that part solved, I think. If the blast could kill this dude, that would be so freaking pulgarous. Damn it. Oh, I blew up the money. There's still some coins there. Ah, oh, fuck. I was really hoping the explosion would be, like, just big enough to, like, reveal the one barrel without, like, breaking it. I think just, like, sit here. Just, like, don't even fucking give a shit. Just wait for him to come down. 
Next step, go up here. Load your gun. Shoot. Chill here. Then we're gonna stand up and make this guy shoot his buddy. And then we're gonna shoot him too. Okay, we've got this- okay. All I needed to do there was, like, sit there and use my fucking brain for half a second. Okay, so we're gonna need to throw this in such a way that it does not destroy... It destroyed the money again. It seems to break one coin out of the three. I don't know what's up with that. I wonder, can I pass turn... like this? I can! Ooh. Oh, but I put the barrel in a spot where it was gonna turn him around. Okay, bringing the barrel over here is crucial. They got launched off the train, I see. Nothing personnel, kid. Oh, fuck. Pfft, I'm screwed. The plan, if, if even one tiny part of the plan goes awry, like I don't get into the barrel in time, it's all... We're cooked. So, also, what if I just, like, auto-shoot this guy? When he comes down. Oh, now that guy gets confused. And tries to- Oh, baby! Bop! Okay. But now there's this dude on the top of the train who's gonna try to chase after me. No? Okay. Well, we'll probably be able to merc him with this. What? <laughs> I'm sorry? It was like a significantly smaller explosion. Because the guy got hit by it? Well, now that dude is in gay baby jail, so... At least there's that. Uh, I'm sorry. Did the barrel change? I could have sworn it was the one on the far right of that little stack. Huh. Forgot to get this. <laughs> Help! Help me! <laughs> oh my god, finally. Wowie. That took a long time. There's a cow! Cow poke. There's a cow on board this train, so keep that in mind before you go making a racket. Cows spook easily, as I learned the hard way back in my day. Cow poke. Okay, first level to have a cow? Oh my god. They've got him at gunpoint. What did that cow do? What were his crimes? Uh, I can't go up there. Oh my god, there's no patrolling guys. This is great. I can just get that guy to shoot his friend, right? He can't see through the cow. Okay, well... The cow's gonna go running, right? Let's see what happens. This is just a... Okay, yeah, it kills you instantly. Oh, and it breaks through that shit! Okay, so just shoot. But don't shoot... You know, from there. Go, like, up and shoot. I guess, uh, how am I gonna get up to that without, like, maybe I need to save those crates? Hold on, I mean, we got plenty of time. Eh. Oh, the guy that I traded all those crates to just booted up Left 4 Dead 2. Okay, the cow's spooked. Oh. Is it now a platform, I wonder? Oh-ho! Cool. One crazy thing about these games, too, in UFO 50, is that... ...new mechanics are, like, introduced throughout. Which is kind of mental to me. Uh... Just the fact that... Oh, I think they can shoot diagonally up, though, so this doesn't really protect me at all. You know, again, in Action 52, it'd be like... 
Oh, nice. Just barely swooshed onto there. In Action 52, it would be like, okay, you know, here's your, like, fifth reskin of the same shitty, like, platformer engine with, like, barely any mechanics to it. Here, it's, like, a pretty significant way through the game. They're introducing cow mechanics. Looks like Brand went and got himself caught. We know the train they're taking him to prison on, Maria. It's up to you to spring him. I missed a period in there, but I went with it. I rolled with it. Okay, we're rescuing a guy. There's a dude positioned crouching on top of a Gatling gun. They know he's a fucking menace. How do you get around that? Jeez. Damn it. <laughs> chicken in the hole. No, chicken in the hole. Damn it. <laughs> I think it can be done. I think I can put the chicken in the hole. It's like, let's stand on, like, this block. Damn it. One block over to the left. I could make the hole, like, wider, too. <laughs> Fuck. I think it'll catch on, like, a backboard there. Okay, do this position. Okay. <laughs> now he's looking at him crouching like a monkey! He looks like Mario. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's scary. Okay. Damn. Oh! Buh. <laughs> I'm so screwed. I'm gonna get Gatlinged. Did one of them Shoryuken me? I'm sorry, I, I swear to god one of them just did a Shoryuken on me. That's true, I can push it. I can push the chicken. So I can just like... Oh, uh, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, that really, I, I cheesed it. Oh my god. Wait. Uh. Oh. Okay. Fuck. Well, now I'm gonna get shot if any of them cross its line of sight. Uh. Oh, it shot the chicken! <laughs> Gatling guns. I love- they're like sentient in this game, right? They have like loyalties. With chickens, regardless of, you know, if it's Bloods or Crips, it's on sight with chickens. <sighs> okay. Now let's think here. The Gatling gun can destroy indestructible blocks. So theoretically, I'm trying to think of the, the, like, setup you would need with the chicken here. I don't know. Did he really- he heard the barrel? Okay, well, that was cool. So are we- we're, we're just trying to bust out the other guy. That's it? I think- can I- I can put away my gun, right? Okay, well. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, no, I was hoping you would turn around. Alright, this is fun. God, those things really go flying. <laughs> oh, this is just stupid. This is just stupid. Look at one of them's frozen midway through his, like, run animation? What? Look at him! Uh, two of them, like, fused together or something. What's going on there? Uh... I'm sorry, I'm so... My brain is fried. I normally don't do, like, uh, double streams. 
you know, where I... How did he not see me? Oh, there's actually stuff in the way, right? I'm not used to doing double streams, and whenever I do, I, I find that I my brain feels fried by the end. Okay. Is it gonna shoot again? No, that expended its ammo. I don't think I realized that was a mechanic with the Gatling gun. So... I feel like, theoretically, with, like, some crazy chicken play, that you'd run the risk of shooting the guy. I wonder if it destroys the, like, gears. You know what I mean? Uh, is it gonna shoot this chicken? No. Like, I wonder if it, like, the switch activated blocks. Look at it. Yeah, time's running out. Fuck. No, the safe psycho is gonna die. <laughs> uh. I'm just try I'm just thinking a little bit. I'm thinky. You can, like, uh... Because it's just that if the Gatling gun shot a singular bullet, it would be easy to break. And con assuming that it breaks the switch blocks. Let's just, like, get in there and test if it breaks the switch blocks or not. I mean, I say that like that's feasible. Maybe make a loud noise over there. They didn't even hear shit. I feel like the last couple times I've played this level, I've just utterly cheesed it. Though they did, it did the little direction thing, by the way. The fun, cute little thing where the game goes, Teehee, I'm going to reverse your input for some reason. Still no clue why that happens. You know, I could go down here. I don't know what the point of that would be, but I can. Maybe, like, drop... Uh, hold on. Get the chicken. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm probably cooked. What the fuck? Okay, well. <laughs> okay, roll forward, punch that, get the guy out of here. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Okay. <sighs> I think I need to be a fucking beta cuck and just go get the switch. Just go hit the fucking switch. Like, I can attack this- oh, is it out of bullets, maybe? Is that a thing that can happen? What? Really? How that guy, how, I thought he didn't have my scent trail. I didn't think he heard me. Okay. We're cooked. <laughs> We're cooked. <laughs> the combo! Oh, it's like... Whoa. That bit where I was holding the Gatling gun and it was firing. There's so much potential. It's like stand in the ladder column and shoot the gun to the left and just hope that it doesn't hit the guy. So don't make this guy shoot. He just barely won't turn around. Pick up the chicken. Punch that. Mm, I'm gonna get shot though. I tried to crouch, I just was too late. <laughs> okay, but we- I think we've got, I think, a potential amazing cheese strategy here. <laughs> Passing turn there. It's good to know that that's a mechanic. Throw the chicken. Hit that. 
Uh, I'm just gonna crouch. Oh, I should have punched it again to activate it. Fuck. <laughs> I love when they kill you when they're crouching and then they just monkey squat like that. It looks like a fucked up Mario 1 sprite. Spin. Okay, pick up the chicken. Put it there. Get fucking hit by the stupid gun because you suck at the game. I'm so screwed. Uh, oh, he shot his friend and he shot me. Okay. <laughs> this is my gun. This is my chicken. I kind of wish there was a way to, like, skip the lawman turn. You know, if you're just like... I know how this goes. Pop, 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 punch! Okay, I, I feel like I was kind of close to the dream there. But no, it's now it's out of bullets. Uh... Hide in it, please! Okay. Hit that. So I assume I need to- now it's gonna go into, like... The- the two-player turn-based thing. Yeah. Uh... Fuck! I didn't- I just wanted to load my gun! Fuck! <laughs> I don't think you automatically punch when doing it, you just need to be holding up at the start. Okay, but we've got a- uh, this is a replicable system. Okay, shoot that guy, throw the chicken, grab that... Shoot this dude. Screw up the cool trick, because you suck at the game. Oh! Oh, here they come. Uh, it's gonna take... It's gonna take a little more than that. I don't know what to do. Maybe now. Oh, they might shoot me in the feet. No, they're just confused now. Okay, well, we'll get the switch through the ceiling, and hopefully these guys will be very distracted. Damn it. If I had been a little quicker, I could have done that so much more efficiently. Jump across the gap! Nice! Wahoo! Okay. Now all I need to worry about is... this guy right here. We got 40 seconds, and they're kind of like real seconds, not like schmeckens, as Bella calls them, that you get in, like, uh, Magical Garden, for instance. Just random example off the top of my head. Fuck. Yeehaw! Nice. Oh, that feels good. This game, it's, this one's so fun. I love this one. How many levels are there, I wonder? This is a bigger heist with two different money crates to collect. Stay calm and be careful. By now you should know what to do. Does anybody know uh, how close I am to some sort of ending? I mean, I've done okay. Let's let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, I'm on 14. How many levels are there in Rail Heist? Someone said no. I... <laughs> I guess it was more of a rhetorical question. Give me one moment. It's trying to download the VOD of the previous stream. Uh, the gift was 10 levels, so I imagine there's 20. That makes sense. Rail heist levels. Um... Yeah. 
Gold is beat level 20. Cherry is beat the game with at least 40 stars. All right. So I'm probably, I'm probably going to sign off kind of soon. So I don't think I'll beat this particular one today, but you know what? I think I will do it on a future stream of UFO 50. Uh, uh, let's just take a little peek at this one, but I kind of want to try a different game. That's part of the beauty of this game, too, is you can just be like, eh, I'm sick of Rail Heist, I'm going to go play something else, and then I'm going to come back to it when I'm... Uh, oh, look at that dude aiming up. This looks insane. And then I'll come back when I'm feeling it a little more. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. I don't even... I can tell this one's going to be hard. Okay, uh... You know what? Sorry to spam Mooncat, but I really want to get the other secret in Mooncat. I've got about half an hour before I need to pick up Bella from work. So, let's try to... And now that I know... Seems like there's a pretty consistent, like, rule... ...on where the secrets are. So... How does I jump over this? Is that like a little Moai head? No. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna play through until I pass the point. I don't I don't exactly remember where at what point all the secrets were, but I assume I will be able to remember. This is an optional one, but... Okay, I'm not even gonna take it, apparently. <laughs> okay, so that flower there, I think, is referencing... ...the fact that you can, like, get up on top of the level. We've already done that, though. There's another flower here? Did I do this one? This might be just what we're looking for, or it might be a little optional thing. But flowers indicate secrets, and then whenever there's a Moai head, jump over it. That's like the rule, basically, that I've gleaned, at least. Uh... Do I have to get up there? Do I have to, like, get down? Hmm. Uh, uh. I could, there's, I'm just gonna poke and prod at any nooks and crannies around here. I won't rest until I've searched every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. That was the one bad thing about Ace Attorney Investigations was, or about the second one. He doesn't say the nook and cranny line anymore. He says something, like, way less silly. He still has a line that he says every time he investigates something. But it's way less silly than the nook and cranny line, which made me sad. Oh, I don't know. It kind of looks like there's a little hole there, but I think that's just the hole that the enemies are spawning out of. Well, let's let's prod around a little more. A little more better. I think Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh my god, a new guy. Okay, so either this is a shortcut or this is a new way. I'm curious if I can pound you. And what's over here? Okay, new guy just dropped. I mean, are we trying to... No. Whoa! Uh... Am I winning? 
Oh god, I'm glad that spear didn't, like, contact kill me. That looks a little secrety over there, honestly. What's this? Nothing? Ooh, ooh. Scary, but not unmanageable. What? Oh my god, no, I- For a second I was like, uh, the controls! But, no, that's just how Mooncat controls. <laughs> I actually did hit the wrong button, because it's Mooncat. I was gonna start complaining. Um, I hit right on the D-pad and I went left. What the heck? Like, yeah, buddy, that's the bit. Congratulations. Professional bit identifier. This all good? Fuck. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it kind of seems like this was just a shortcut style one. No? I don't know if I've done this segment. I think I have. This is ringing a bell. Yeah, this game is definitely a shitload of fuck. Okay, well, I guess that was all just an optional warp. Which means I may have actually missed the warp I'm really supposed to take. Okay, wait. There's a Moai up there. And there's a flower. Fuck. <laughs> This is a comedy of errors. Kill these fucking guys. Jump over that. Fuck. It's still, like... I've definitely become a lot better... Nice. At using the controls in this game, but, like, they still get me sometimes. Ow. You gotta have no upward momentum when going past that thing. <laughs> I gotta just wait. Just stop rushing. It's just so fun to do that. Oh my god. Am I stupid or is this like really, really difficult? The two things, they're not mutually exclusive. I mean, I have a one lane... Maybe just wait a long-ass time. I have to come all the way over here. There we go. The underwater segments... Didn't leave much of an impression on me because they were significantly easier. Now that this one's kind of hard, kind of just don't like it. <sighs> oh! What the fuck, dude? <laughs> okay, is this new? This seems that sem that seemed like another unnecessary warp. God damn it! See, this is just a screen in the normal route. 
right? So I'm just gonna keep keeping my eye out for Moai and flowers. I mean, I don't see a flower, otherwise I would investigate around there. Okay, let's... Let's fuck! It's one of those ads. I'm single. Let's fuck! Okay, flower spotted. This bug is probably the way. Damn it. Uh, I bet you go, like, on top of the ceiling here. This looks amazing. I can't believe I haven't seen any gameplay of it yet. I mean... Seeing it is is only half the, uh... Half the story, too. You gotta get it in your hands. Because the way it controls is just mind-boggling. Wondering if there's an invisible... Uh, bouncer somewhere? I don't know. Where's the secret on this one? I can't really... Like, go, like, down here? <laughs> I don't know. Try this one more time. I don't know. I don't want to go to the next screen in case it's... Hmm. Maybe just bounce off the spider... To the right. Just blindly. Damn it. <sighs> no, I think I already, like, tried that, too. Chat? Uh, do we- does anybody know? What the bit is here? What's the bit? I don't understand the bit. Bounce left on the spider. Like, when it's... Bounce left at the top. That was like my first idea, but it didn't seem to come anywhere near... The amount of height that I need. It's just kind of tricky, you know... Maybe I should just go for it right at the beginning instead of waiting for it to come back up. Yeah, okay, okay. It was... It just seemed like a tight jump to try to just jump on top of it without, like, waiting for it to come back up. Okay, thank you, chat. Woo-hoo-hoo! Okay. Let's... Oh. Good. This is gonna be a little scary. I was way, way too, uh... Not my tempo. It was way too fast. Oh. Uh. Yeah, somebody explained it in chat already, but the controls... All the buttons on the left side of the controller move you left, and all the buttons on the right side of the controller move you right. Pressing them at the same time... ...makes you jump. And the direction that you jump depends on which button you pressed first. And then if you do it in midair, you get this dive move. And there's a couple other things. I forgot those are fall-through platforms. There's like this little weird dash. You can like run and slide, and there's an air dash, too. There's a little extra to put in Mooncat. This is like a Jump King-ass level. 
There's a, there's a few jumps that really demand precision. Somebody made some really nice, uh... I think it was the same person who made the animation that I started off the first stream of this with. I'm, I apologize, I forget their username, but, uh... What? I wasn't holding that. What the fuck happened? My controller disconnect? No, I'm fine. I'm just on crack. They made a really nice little moon cat animation. That I'll probably use to intro the next uh, UFO 50 stream. Although somebody else, there was a, there was actually a couple like really crazy animations, really cool animations submitted in the last couple of days, which always just set my heart aflutter. Cause they're always so cool. Eh, it's not really Jump King. Okay. Bit of a leap of faith here. So I don't think that's a hard platform. I could very well just ground pound through it. Okay, please be something new. No! Oh my fucking god! Where are the real secrets? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, well, let's keep keeping our eyes out. For more cheeky secrets. So much just, like, weird routes. In this. So many, rather. Uh, is that a spawn point for eyes? Just need one of you to come down here. That's the door. Fuck. Well, I must have missed something then. I guess now let's go through the game again and try. I mean, that's, doesn't this look sus? What is this with these spiders? Like, could I uh, bring an eyeball up here and then? Uh. Eh. Let's reset it and. Ignore all the uh, shortcuts that I found in that particular run. Please! <laughs> One of these days I want to get over that gap, even though apparently it does nothing. I have to leave in about 15 minutes. We're so cooked. But, I mean, I did find stuff in this. It just wasn't stuff that did anything for me. Oh my god! How did I not get over? Everything was perfect. It was perfect! I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. I think I actually, like, checked off stream if you could go, like, left here. And it didn't yield any results. Let me just check. Yeah, I don't think it... Unless there's a weird, like, hidden one in midair, which would be quite a dick move. Wahoo! Fuck. That works. What the fuck am I doing? I kept, like, accidentally double tapping. <laughs> Okay, we already- this is the- that was the first one we got today. 
This is the Barbuda screen, but not with those blocks taken out of the top. It's funny. This is a sp oh, here's a Moai. I think we already got that one, though, didn't we? We're pretty close to the beginning of the game, I can just reset if it... Right, yeah. This was the- this is the path to this. Yeah. Just reset game. Okay. Mooncat, you're starting to get my goat. That's right. I'm the goat. Come on! <laughs> Okay. This is the run, baby. I wonder if those little birds have any significance to anything. Maybe they're from Barbuda? Because the game's description says this is like a spiritual successor to Barbuda. Isabel said she didn't watch my first stream of this game because I didn't play Barbuda. Ow. Do you want to know which flower is the third egg? Uh, only if it's one... ...that I've seen before. Like, I, I guess... Oh, you know... Are, I, I'm assuming... You're saying that this flower right here is the one. I think I might have an idea. Because this is like the one where like I was like, oh, I think the flower here just means there's like, you know, you can go up on the roof there. But I think it might mean that there's a portal. Nice. Over there. That makes sense. Oh. Entirely new enemies. I love that. Ah! What the fuck? Do they jump when you jump? Is that the bit? Seems like it. Like those fuck ass mice in Mario Maker. That I don't remember from an actual 2D Mario game. Maybe, uh. One of the new Super Mario Bros. games. Is this anything? I hope that was not, like, the location of a portal or something. I guess there would be a flower. They're in 3D World. Oh, well, I've played 3D World, so I have no excuse. This is awesome. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what a fun game. I kind of beasted that screen. Not gonna lie. Wait a second! Is this not the normal path again? Bruh. Maybe I was wrong, maybe that other one... Isn't the... <sighs> the one that goes into the place? This is just part of the normal path. I suppose we didn't check this screen today, so... Might as well take a peek around, I didn't see any Moai heads or anything. Just gonna play it a little patient here. <laughs> Play it patient, tries to cut it as fucking absolutely close as is humanly possible to do. Okay, uh... I remember when this mushroom, that was like such a difficult part for me, I had to figure out how to like, 
bounce left. Even though, in reality, it's quite easy and simple. It's just that... Oh, now we're here again. It's just that the controls are so odd that it doesn't really come intuitively to you. Okay... Let's just keep on keeping on, I suppose. I think there's some other screens that I haven't seen yet. So this screen has no flowers. Now we might be kind of close to the end, and I, I do have to leave pretty soon. So even if I do find the path, I'm probably not going to get to execute it. Okay. There's this room. This room that broke my heart. It is a tight jump to try to make the, the bounce on top of that, dude. BT dubs. Hi! Sometimes I, I, I accidentally dash quite a bit in this game. Can I just sprint down to that? Holy fuck. Wait, that's awesome. Speaking of the sprint... Wow. I will never not do that now. Okay... I see a Moai. Okay. Uh... Nice, just barely. Uh... Do I just, like, leap of faith off the end of this? Oh! Oh! Great, more water. Yeah, definitely go left there. <laughs> oh my god, wait, there's a flower in there! Oh no! Am I going to have to go into this horrible hole? Oh! See that flower? I'm assuming there's an invisible warp in there. I'm stupid. Sorry, you guys can probably hear my controller really loud. It's this clicky D-pad. Oh my god, I didn't fucking realize until too late that that projectile was coming for me. Fuck, that sucks. I don't think there's a way to, like, kill enemies in water form, right? This isn't too bad, though. No? What a cruel joke! What a <laughs> oh wait, you know, I'm starting to think the guys that made Spelunky made this. <laughs> Why would they put that there? So where the fuck's the secret? Uh... Dunno?
It is in there? I could have fucking sworn I had passed Mooncat's adorable little body through every, like, tile. Particularly the middle ones. I, like, so thoroughly <laughs> checked everything. Is it in, like, a shitty little corner or something? Oh my god, I passed through that tile 100 times, but okay. Huh. Just curious. <laughs> I'm glad that we're just instantly going right to a boss. Fun beat time. Okay, these platforms are gonna be annoying. Oh my god. I'm cooked. Damn it. Assuming, just like the other one, that the jumps are random. St oh my god, I was just about to say, this seems easy! With great trepidation in my voice. I see now. He has an attack. What the fuck was that? I'm on a fucking, like, time limit, too, here. Oy. Look at that dodge. Oh! Did he, like, stun me for a second? Oh! Shoot. I'm innocent. Wah! I tried to jump, and I ended up just tapping left and right, left and right, perfectly avoiding each other. Oh my god, dude, you can totally, like, boom-boom this guy. You can boom-boom his ass. Bro said boom-boom. Did you say Spike from the Mario movie? Are you on crack? Don't shoot me. Oh god. Damn it. Ah. Fuck, I didn't mean to jump in that direction. was that? I'd go harm.
Damn it. I need to like air dash in a situation like that. I kind of thought it was a scripted jump when he hits the wall on the left there, but I think we've just been lucky enough to be seeing it like that over and over. I gotta get my shit together. I gotta pick up Bella from work. I gotta get on a fucking plane. I've watched the Germa, like, Cuphead VODs so many fucking times. And during that one, I he was, like, about to, like, leave for, like, California or something. And he kept saying, I gotta be on a fucking plane tomorrow. Just a weird, a weird little bit that always stuck in my brain. What the fuck? does seem like an uncanny amount of times he turns around at that exact spot, doesn't it? And, er, not turns around, jumps, rather. Uh, this is gonna be just like the Radon incident, where I failed to beat a boss in time to go pick up Bella from work. I was able to stunlock him like crazy that one time, and then I've just never gotten in that groove again. Shoot. Oh! Ah! Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> Yahoo! Alright, that's it. I think that's Mooncat beaten. Cherry! From within the egg, a praying mantis rears its head. Claws glimmering in the freshly cast moonlight. Once, it was known as Marlia the Sage. Okay. More Barbuda lore. I love learning about Barbuda by not playing Barbuda. I was here, I was here, okay. Uh, I suppose that's it. I have to go. <laughs> Let's see what we got, though. Hey, I got an achievement for two cherries. What did I get? Couch. I got a couch. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta go. Uh, but that was very fun. Glad I was able to pinch that one off uh, into the bowl, if you will. We did, we did a, I kind of redid a bunch of progress in Rail Heist, but next time I stream this, I think I'll finish Rail Heist. And we got that crazy, we got some good scores in this. We got the, the barely eked out the top score. Oh man, what a fun stream. And we did Silent Hill 2 today. Holy shit, I'm a gamer. All right. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. See you next time.